Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to tap into your energy and start your messages off with the heavenly bodies of astrology deck to get an idea of uh, what astrological energies may be influencing you this week. We have a big week, uh, eclipse energy. We're moving into the first um, new moon solar eclipse coming up this Saturday. We have a lot of big shifts and changes going on this week. So let's tap in and see what's going on with you, Leo, and what the messages are that may assist you uh, as you traverse your journey this week. So this is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Leo. Please keep in mind these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Don't build a story if it's not resonating, Leo. Check with your other placements or just any of the other zodiac that may stand out to you. Let's keep going here. What are we working with for Leo? Okay. All right. I forget who else got this. Um, possibly Aries, but don't quote me on that. A sextile, which is a combination of tension and flow. So there's going to be some restriction and contraction within you and maybe within an experience. This could be a test, a lesson. There's a potential and there's potential here and a rewarding situation as an outcome. So I hope you studied for the test, Leo. <laughs> uh, I feel like you are prepared for whatever is to come. We are revisiting, repeating lessons that we should have already learned at this time. And most likely it's going to be in the form of lessons that we learn through our relationships to others, lessons that we learn about ourselves, our patterns, and things that we need to release and let go of from our core wounds, our core, our survival skills even. We don't want to continue to live in survival. Let me just see. There is a card upside down. Meditate and contemplate. Just wanted to peek out and say hello. We're going to get a little bit more flavor on your reading here. We're using Moonology. As Venus is now in Virgo, we are getting more of the details, getting more detailed in some of the things that we may have been a little confused about during Venus's retrograde through Leo. And um, feeling like we're in the dark about something. Pluto moves direct this week. Actually, tomorrow, Mars is in the square to Pluto. So there's a lot of um, things coming to light. Realizations that uh, things we can no longer continue holding on to, no longer continue participating in. Things are crystal clear as we move through this week. There's a lot of energy that is supporting this crystal clear realizations for us all. I did a video on this week's energy. If you want to check it out, uh, it is uploaded onto the channel now. Uh, uploaded, there's two. I did a live and then I did a another video where I had missed um, a message. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. This is interesting. You and your loved ones are safe. Cancer energy. So at this time, Leo, you may be feeling like you really want to go into your shell and protect yourself. You may be feeling the energy of the collective culminating and like you feel these big um, 
transformative energies uh, culminating, right? And you're not sure exactly what is going on. There's a lot going on in the world stage right now and a lot of volatile energy that is spewing out in the world stage. And so Leo, you just want to make sure you're safe. You also may feel this sextile energy um, knocking at your door. You may... <clears throat> I don't know if you're actually experiencing it yet. You may have experienced some. You may have had some light bulb moments in the last week or two about yourself. Um, a lot of the uh, messages that came up yesterday had to do with our codependency patterns. For me specifically, it was enabling. You know, we enable another's behavior that is not healthy for them or for us. Okay, anyway, Leo, if that resonates for you, you might want to check that video out. What are the messages for Leo? Yeah. Definitely uh, in the mind too much. And these are all your negative thoughts, all your fears, all your worries, all your doubts, um, your perceptions about a situation, a person, your life in general or life in general, that is really when the mind just kind of runs the show and we have, we've lost control and you may be attaching to these thoughts, these stories to be true. Feeling very unsafe. We do have strength. Here's your card, Leo. So this is bringing out that strength, that inner strength and endurance for the journey. You are aware that you're always safe. Um, it, it, it really is up to how you want to perceive a situation. You are also using this inner strength to overcome the ego mind. Beautiful. So you're aware of the thoughts. You're aware that they exist, but you're also using your inner strength, your solar plexus energy um, to overcome, to not believe those stories. That's where the flow, you have the tension when you're in this energy, when you're in the mind too much and you let it take over you. And then the energy flows when you override it with your true innate inner knowing that you are always safe. And everything is a figment of your imagination. You can change the narrative. You can change the story at any time. It's up to you. It is the ego that wants to protect us. It wants to keep us safe. So it wants to alarm us of, of possible threats of um, anything that would you know, threaten our safety, our emotional stability. Our stability in general. Ace of Swords. Beautiful. <sighs> Clarity. There you go. The Sword of Truth arising within you. We have Queen of, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So Queen of Pentacles I always read as um, you're a giver. You like to give of yourself, of your energy, of your um, whatever it is that you can give to help others that actually, um, really fuels you and gives you a sense of fulfillment. And maybe you had been over giving and again, I'm, I'm hearing codependency. There may have been a situation that you were, you had to learn. Um, it's okay to give Leo, but we have tempers below that. It's also important to have, um, boundaries, personal boundaries, energetic boundaries, so that you're not giving too much of yourself to the point where you're depleted or to the point where you are fooled, you are tricked, you are not seeing things clearly because whatever did uh, go down in the past, Leo, it took you into the underworld and you were very lost and confused as to what the heck was going on. You want to be able to still give, you want to be able to trust that if I have my giving nature is going to be safe for not just me, but my loved ones as well. Wow. Okay. The 
Because if you give too much of yourself, then you're no good to anybody else, including yourself, right? Hard lessons learned here. And this could even just be in the mind. Your mind being on someone else or some other scenario more than it is on yourself and your path and your loved ones. Whatever it is that's important to you. Could have been uh, under some psychic attacks in the last week or month or months coming out of that. Tell me about Ten of Swords for Leo, please. Psychic attacks. I've done a whole video on that. That's on the channel as well. Just meaning that somebody else's energy is directed at you. And we connect in the energetic field of consciousness. And so when we feel like we're like constantly thinking of somebody, and especially if it happens to be negative and it just comes out of nowhere, it's usually the other person that is doing that, not you and vice or vice versa, consciously or unconsciously. We have nine of pentacles. Here's another fear that what it is that you have been growing and developing in your life um, isn't going to come to fruition, that things are never going to work out for me, that things are always, I'm constantly repeating the same lesson and pattern over and over again, and I don't know how to break free from it. And these are all the stories that you're telling yourself, Leo, that is hard to release. But you are. I think that you're even noticing that things are starting to come to fruition for you. No matter how slow they are, trust that. Go with that. Stay in the positive. Definitely learn the lessons. This is a, a journey of self-awareness and self-actualization and growth and evolution. Queen of Wands. Yeah, your intuition is on point here, and you may, okay, you may have Mars and Pisces like I do, where I, I learned that um, it's important that I take action when I feel it in my intuitive senses. This is a connection with the divine, and that I'm not just acting, uh, uh, taking action based off of fear. Um, or comparing myself, what I should do. This is um, inspired action. And you are following that intuition. You are having the strength to override the mind and listen to your intuition and take inspired action. And when it's not time to take action, you've learned your lesson to sit back and relax, connect, and Move your energy into something that is good for you. The magician. This is alchemy. Pure alchemy. And I think this is your deep realization. Oh, I see. I'm creating this chaos because I'm still running on an old, operating on an old system, an old pattern that has been programmed in my mind to make me think that I'm never going to get ahead. I'm never going to, ha nothing's gonna ever come to fruition unless I work hard and I just keep going and keep going and keep going. But using the strength to overcome, override those neuro pathways in the mind that have been programmed and embedded into you since you were probably born. This is so society norms and maybe family patterns and upbringing. And you don't have to have your Mars and Pisces. I just found that interesting for myself because your energy level will drop like completely when it is not time to take action. And you're, you'll be hard on yourself like, oh my God, I need to do this, but I just have no energy. And you push through anyway and it doesn't work out. Know why? Because you're not supposed to. You're supposed to wait and follow the energy that and the guidance within the intuition that is your magic all right so you have been working hard leo and i feel like it is paying off your hard work is paying off okay trust that i'm gonna have to take this advice myself <laughs> 
the guides came through clearly they're like you take that advice too okay yes i get it i do i truly do i completely understand this all right <laughs> what else do we have for leo And if it's something, if you're doing something and taking action on something that you love and you're passionate about, like me with reading tarot, that's great. Follow that. But if it's something that you're like, I've got to do this, you know, and we do have responsibility. Yes. And, and spirit will give us the energy to take the trash out and to clean up after ourselves. And maybe there's a day where you've got to leave the dishes in the sink. It's okay. I think you may be going through some weird tests like that where you're just in your mind like, God, what is wrong with me? I have no energy to even wash the dishes. I mean, that's just a strange example, but. Four of inspiration. All right, so what coming to fruition, this actually may be the soul tribe that you've been trying to call forth into your life forever. You're like, where is everybody? I need a team. I want a team. I've been asking, where's my team? <laughs> Get out of your mind. Get out of your head. You have had, you know, little pops here and there of people that resonate with you and that um, are supportive of you and you supportive of them. So remember those times. Remember that it does exist. We're going through a big squeeze right now. Don't fall victim and don't fall into this tension. Allow the energy to flow. Right. <laughs> exactly. Allow the energy to flow. Follow your intuition. Be inspired. And when you're inspired, take action. When, you're in, when it's time to rest, rest. Know the difference. Also, don't be afraid to let all of your colors show. Open your entire aura up and just radiate all of you. All of you. Dance. Sing. Laugh. Really get in touch with your inner child, the innocent, the beauty, seeing the beauty in life. Okay. There's an aspect of you, Leo, that still holds on to the past, still holds on to memories of um, pain and suffering and grief, loss, betrayal. It's a part of your ego that um, wants to protect you. And so it's like, I don't want you to forget, Leo. I don't want you to forget that this could happen again. I want you to be on your game. And that's okay, but don't make that your story. Trust people, trust life. Open yourself up to life. You and your loved ones are safe. All right, we're going to get some advice for you, Leo, using the Native native Spirit Oracle. And if you are liking this video, please don't forget to click the like button underneath the video. Um, it helps with the algorithms on YouTube to get the messages out to more people. It also helps with the growth of the channel, and I'm really appreciative to all of you who do take the time to do that. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. And if you're interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is bethechange333.com. That information is in the description box below this video as well. And I do now have two new options for personal readings. They are um, videos, recorded videos. <clears throat> for you specifically. This is to help accommodate those of you who are on a completely different time zone than me, especially those in the UK and Australia. But anybody can access and purchase. They are actually more affordable, the video recordings. So, Leo, let's get back to you. Advice for Leo.
Thank you. Gathering your tribe. Uh-huh. Yep. You are gathering your tribe. Get out of the mind. Get out of the story that says it's never going to happen. Because it's already culminating. There's a confirmation for you. You are loved and you are lovable. You deserve love. Support in all forms is flowing to you. You can relax. There's so much love around you. Communicate from your heart. Share your truth. You are safe. Diminish your time with those who do not empower you or believe in you. Your native spirit wants you to know if the gathering your tribe card chooses you. This means that sustenance in all forms is flowing into your life. Your people are those who resonate with you. Your people can include animals, plants, minerals, and trees, as well as people. Be willing to ask for what you want in life. This is the time to put your needs before the needs of others. Your tribe is waiting to support and nurture you as you nurture yourself. Sometimes your friends are more your family than blood relatives. Find your people and cherish them. Your vibe attracts your tribe. There's a beautiful confirmation there. You are safe as well. So Leo, this is the message that I have for you this week. I hope you found this helpful for you and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.